Good evening, this is John Botzer with Golden Eagle Log Homes. We'll start the uh, webinar here in just a few minutes, but I've got a few uh, introductory uh, things to present to you here before we start the true webinar. Uh, like a, maybe a chat from a couple of you just to let me know if, you, if I'm coming through loud and clear. But what I'd like to uh, introduce to you tonight and say is good evening everyone and welcome to Why Golden Eagle Log Homes. Before we get started, I'd like to go over a few items so you know how to participate in today's event. You should see a control panel in the upper right hand corner of your screen on your desktop. You're listening through, right now through the computer speaker system by default. If you'd prefer to uh, speak with us or join us over the phone, just select telephone in that audio pane and the dial-in information will be displayed. You will have the opportunity to submit questions to today's presenter by typing your question into the question pane of that same control panel. You may send in your question at any time during the presentation. We're going to collect the questions and address all of them during the question and answer session at the end of today's seminar. You'll also see in the right side of the control panel some uh, handouts. There's about four handouts over there that you're welcome to download or print out anytime that you would like. But uh, with that, we'll get started with the uh, webinar. On the screen there, first of all, again, my name is John Botzer. I'm the Director of Dealer Development here at Golden Eagle Log Homes. I've been employed here for almost 20 years, and I worked and managed for another log home company for eight years in the UP of Michigan. So I've got, uh, I guess you'd say I've got some pretty good experience, some knowledge, uh, sold over 400 homes myself, along with traveling the country doing log home shows. And maybe I've already met some of you, but a lot of you are just brand new here. What uh, we'll learn here today is basically what sets us apart from the maybe other companies that are in the industry or other companies that you're considering why would you want to choose Golden Eagle Log Homes? You'll learn about our, our culture tonight and you'll learn uh, just how we operate, how we, our customer service and just about everything about Golden Eagle Log Homes. Right now on the screen there you see an aerial photo of our campus here in Wisconsin, Rapids, Wisconsin. We're just about dead center in the state of Wisconsin about four hours north of Chicago, uh, three hours, three and a half hours uh, east of St. Paul, Minneapolis, and about an hour and a half west of Green Bay, kind of dead center in the state. What you're looking at there is about 20 acre, uh, acres that we uh, work on and live on and manufacture log homes on. The uh, Just a few points, you can probably see my cursor, but just uh, giving you some idea, right over here is the model. And I'm speaking to you from basically one of the offices in the lower level of this particular model, which is the Double Eagle Deluxe. Our showroom that we're very famous for in our complete package is right here in the left half of this particular building. Our manufacturing is done on the end of this building, on the right end of it. We also do manufacturing in the top end of the building where the cursor is right now and our dry kiln is right over here on the kind of the right side of the screen. So that kind of gives you an idea of what we're going to see tonight. We're not going to get into every building. Uh, the rest of the big buildings that you see there basically are storage, storage for, for log inventory, in-process inventory, finished goods and uh, uh, conventional material like shingles and lumber and those types of items. The items you see, we'll touch on it a little bit later as well when we speak about the kiln, kiln drying process, but the piles of lumber that you see along the front here, uh, along the back, uh, up in the top or upper left of the screen are what we call cants, and they are lumber that is pre-drying uh, for that uh, the log home process, but we'll learn about the kiln, the planers, the shapers, corner notching, storage, loading, all of those particular areas we'll, we will cover as we go through the presentation this evening. So on the next screen, you see uh, that we are a family owned and operated company. On the center in the chair sitting down is Wally Parmeter. 
uh, the, him and his wife Marlis founded the company in 1966, which means we are 50 years old this year, and we've been celebrating our 50th anniversary through through various events and various uh, buying opportunities and discounts and presentations. So, kind of celebrating 50 years in business. Not very many log home companies that can uh, say that. On the upper left, uh, in the black shirt, you see Jay Parmeter and his brother right next to him in the center, Todd Parmeter. They are co-owners of Golden Eagle Log Homes. And Sharon Parmeter on the far right is Todd's wife. We are also in the uh, third generation in that uh, Todd and Sharon, their son, Zach, and their daughter, Laura, work here at Golden Eagle. So we are, as I said, third generation. And I might just uh, share with you in, in my terms of uh, we have started out Golden Eagle Log Homes as a ma and pa lumber yard. Wally and Marla started the, as a lumber yard here. And we've grown uh, over the years to be one of the premier log home companies in North America. The, uh, we have a lot of experience. We've built over and just delivered over 5,000 homes across the United States and into Canada, uh, which gives us a great wealth of experience in many locations, many markets, and even in, in several countries. Uh, we see, you see there in front of you a gathering of our employees and some of our dealers uh, at a major event we had here. Um, and I can say that we keep our employees. As I mentioned, I'm going on 20 years. A lot of the people you see in front of you, or if you came here and asked uh, a question of the employees, how long have you been here, you would hear five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. And I believe our longest employee besides the owners is probably 25 to 28 years here, something like that. And I guess that indicates that we're, we're doing something right. And uh, as I can also tell you, it's a great place to work. Again, a part of our experience has been building throughout North America. And we have homes in Alaska. We have homes in Canada and all across, scattered all across the United States. We're, we're in, we have homes in all but maybe two or three states. Uh, some of the small eastern states uh, were probably not there yet, uh, but also uh, what this does is it makes us familiar with codes, weather, building practices in your area. Um, so we're, wherever you're building, we've probably had another home built there before. We probably know builders there. And we also know the codes and the, the conditions that your home is going to be built under. Just touching now on how your home is shipped, um, we do buy direct from the manufacturer uh, many, many items. You see them on the left side of the screen, some of the brand names that we use. Uh, LP, Louisiana Pacific, Blue Links, which is uh, used to be Georgia Pacific. Ferguson is a plumbing distributor. Weeks Forest Products, uh, Midwest uh, Lumber and uh, Wood Products Distributor. Kohler, Moan, Delta, Owens Corning, all of these are brand name products that we purchase and buy in volume, and we have significant buying power because of that. Uh, some of those items, and many of these items, like windows, cabinetry, perhaps trusses and eye joists, will deliver direct from the manufacturer directly to your home, which saves a lot of cost on the construction and of the, of the home itself. We have a state-of-the-art kiln, which you see in the picture there. But we are involved in the buying process uh, from the entire supply chain as far as the logs go, the harvesting of the logs from the local sustainable forest. So I'm not sure on the exact number, but for every tree that is cut down, uh, five or six are planted to replace that uh, log. Uh, we are primarily using eastern white pine. In fact, all of our wall logs uh, would be eastern white pine. Other species are available, cedar, dug fir, um, lodgepole pine, things like that. We could get all of that. 
The material, as I showed you on the opening screen, is called a cant, and you see that a pallet of these are, are half logs or possibly stair treads or uh, going into the kiln for drying. Um, the, uh, what we do is we use uh, the kiln to basically make the stabilize the lumber, stabilize the log. And, and in a, it's a long explanation. And one of the handouts that you have there to download would be more of a on the kiln drying process. But basically, it's kind of like a convection oven. Um, it's a science, but it's also an art because the wood, every tree is different. But basically, we are raising the temperature and lowering the humidity uh, in, in a combination uh, of that. The, uh, the uh, drying is, uh, takes about a month for the full log. The larger full logs will be in the kiln about a month. And the uh, smaller half logs in that might be a couple of weeks. But we also then grade the lumber after it's dried. We are uh, using two different grades, one for very structural grading and one for uh, normal grading, if you will, for the logs. And we also mill, meaning shape the logs, and we also peel the logs, which in our case would mean shaping the logs, putting a texture on the surface of that log, not peeling the bark off, because as you can see, the bark is already off of these particular logs here. If they were full logs, they would be square logs or rectangular, 8 by 8, 10 by 10, and you'll see some of the sizes here in a later screen as we go along. And if you have uh, any questions, uh, you can about this particular thing. Now would be a good time to uh, type in that question in the control panel and we'll answer it later. That way nobody will forget about it. Here you see uh, Corey, one of our managers in the saddle knot. He's making a saddle notch corners right now and um, they are being done on a what we would call an 8 by 8 so it's square eight high, eight wide, and this is a double tongue and groove D-log, meaning it's got a slight round on one side and a flat side to the inside of the home. The machinery that you're seeing is very highly automated. Um, it's extremely accurate, so the builder does not have to do any uh, cutting of the corners, notching them or anything in the field. It's all done, pre-done for him. That's very accurate, very consistent in size. The machinery is custom made for Golden Eagle and uh, uh, packaged and prepped for our particular shapes and sizes and uh, things that we have here. Um, and by the way, we're about to make another major expansion over this winter, moving some of the new equipment in and moving some of the uh, other equipment around to uh, make it a little easier and a little more streamlined in the manufacturing process. The, um, again, continuing along the manufacturing, but also what I would call choices, when there's more choices coming, we're looking at our corner styles and also log sizes and log shapes. Um, you see a vertical corner, button pass, saddle notch, dovetail, Swedish gulp, and a curve cut. Uh, the curve cut is really referring to the corner. It's a saddle notch with an extended uh, length on it so that in the field we can cut this large Swedish or new, uh, Norwegian type of a cut into the log, something traditional for Northern Europe. You also see a different vertical corners there. As I mentioned, there's a round logs or double round logs, tug and groove logs, um, 8 by 12, different sizes and shapes that we have available. Um, full log and half log, no matter what it is in, in that regard, the corners would still come pre-notched from Golden Eagle, so no one has to do any cutting on site. You're looking now at what we have... Uh, what we call, I like to call surface textures. Uh, on the this, this log on the far left, you see a semi-smooth surface, a machine peel, which I like to call a standard peel here. Over this next one is the hand peel itself, it's supposed to duplicate a draw knife type of look. And then we have hand hewn, uh, which we're using a lot in our timber frame construction. Um, also, as you look, uh, 
on this particular one, the semi-smooth would be available in all shapes of the log. So whether the log has a curved surface or a flat surface, uh, a large round or a small diameter round, all of the shapes of our logs can come in smooth. As we move over to the middle, here you see the standard peel. This particular one can only be done on a round log. The hand peel, very similar, can only be done on a round surface. The hand hewn, we see on the far right, can only be done on a flat surface. And like I mentioned before, we, we seem to uh, use a lot of this particular shape, the hand hewn, in our timber frame, in beams and in trusses and things like that. So it's becoming much more popular there. So it gives you again on, on choices of the surface textures that we offer. Uh, we also know and about a lot of unique materials. We stock and offer a lot of unique materials. Uh, we also offer things and, and talk about things as far as your drawing and your plans about products that may not even come from us. Uh, for example, that large tree right here in the middle was put together and planned by a homeowner when he cut down his property. They kept that log and debarked it and dried it in the, and put it into the loft. So they've been, the homeowner was planning for that for quite some time. Uh, but we know what you want. Again, based on our experience here and being in the market, talking to other people, we know what you want. Uh, we will show you uh, what's new, what's available, and what's popular. And we'll also speak about the very important thing, and that's the cost of the options and the unique materials that you see. Uh, we'll tell you what costs more and what costs less. The far left, you see a farm sink that our kitchen designers and the cabinetry people here are designing your cabinets, providing the cabinets, and also talking about the plumbing fixtures that you're going to be using uh, and even providing them. You see a peeled uh, log in the middle here that's done by a local carver that does a lot of unique carving on, on the logs. And you see a, a recreational bar, if you will, uh, in the basement of a, of a home that we designed for that happened to have a finished lower level. We have a very large, very developed, highly developed quality control uh, process here. Um, we are inspected by a third party inspection company. It is called TPI, which stands for Timber Products Inspections, and that's who we use. Um, we also, uh, they come to us and have a, a surprise visit every, every month or every month and a half, depending on how busy we are. They're here maybe two, three times a month in summer, and once a month or so in the winter time when it's a little bit slower. But they verify that the quality of the grading of it is, so the structural grading is verified by them. Also the drying content is verified by them, making sure that we're doing it properly. We are also a member of the Log Homes Council, which is a division of the National Association of Home Builders. And we, uh, what that means is we are building and operating not so much our structure and designs, but the practice of how we go to market and how we have drawings and details uh, is all set up by the Log Homes Council and we and along with about 50 other log home companies have agreed to mark market and can build that way so that there's some consistency. But I'll share with you there's probably about 200 log home companies in the United States and Canada and there's only about 50 of us that are members of the Log Home Council and are agreeing to the code of ethics that uh, they make us uh, work towards. Um, we do provide a complete materials list for all of our homes. It will run 20, 30 pages long and we have a complete set of drawings and details that again is some of it is stipulated by the Log Homes Council so that you get the proper information to the builder uh, so it can be constructed properly. We also offer builder training to our to builders, homeowners and contractors. And again, we uh, uh, read all about quality. I will tell you that no matter what department you go into, there is a system for 
checking, double checking, and even triple checking to make sure everything from on the drawings and pricing and drying, manufacturing and shipping, that everything is double, triple checked so that it comes out properly, eliminates mistakes, eliminates costs, um, and uh, that's just how we do it here. In the uh, drawing process, designing process, uh, we will really start wherever you want to. And there's a handout available on this screen also called the typical process that you could draw, download or uh, open up and save and print. Um, tells us where we start, how we do this drawing process. But we will start, as you see the example there, from a napkin to reality. Uh, wherever you want to start, that's what we'll do. The process is meant to convey your dreams, your wants, your needs from a rough sketch to some pro to professional drawings. Uh, again, we'll start wherever you want to. Uh, we would even start with one of our plans, a couple of our plans, combine them, um, your sketch, uh, a plan you found online, or any combination thereof. Um, I've had homeowners who would bring me uh, three, four, five different drawings saying here's my kitchen, here's my front elevation, here's my entry, this is my bath, and we will take all of those and can put it into professional drawings. The uh, next slide here shows you uh, the engineering process that we are in. And uh, again, maybe it's part of quality control, but it's part of what we offer and part of the process we will take you through. Um, this would be developed after we started a plan service, um, and we will turn these that rough sketch through this drawing plan service process into preliminary drawings. And eventually, we'll see it on the next screen, into engineered drawings. But again, we are designing this house specific to your location, the codes there, the site conditions. We're going to look at snow loading, wind loads, soil conditions, seismic conditions, climate, energy, and even in some of the western states, forest fires are determining roofing systems and window glazing and things like that. But our engineering excellence, our engineering department uh, is probably the best in our industry. Here you see a set of drawings, what we call a final engineered drawing. Again, they're a little bit smaller to read, but uh, you'll be have, these are all the structural components, and there are details, details, details. So we went in the preliminary process from a, maybe five pages of drawings. Now we have 20 to 25 pages of drawings, and there'll be cross sections and eave details, uh, joist layouts, truss layouts, stair layouts, uh, details about the logs, where each log goes, numbered and marked for the components, everything that the builder will need to erect this house. And we will do this for full log, for half log, for timber framing. And there, we also have available a stamped engineered drawing. If there's many, many states that require an engineer stamp to certify that these drawings meet the codes, we can we have that available. It's again done by a third party inspector. Depending on where you're building and the size of the home, it could be 3,500, it could be 7,500, or somewhere in between, depending on on what uh, exactly your home is and where it's going. But in that same this design area, we now use some of the details, what we call a three-dimensional detail. Um, and they're in color. I uh, did a little builder training with a, a customer who's going to become a dealer of ours out in Virginia the, today and yesterday, and there were about five pages like you see here in front of you in color, three-dimensional, showing how all of this, these particular components and items in the home go together. Um, you know, years ago, we would have to, for what you see in front of you there, we would have to draw a top view, a right view, a left view, and then a cross section. So we'd have about four drawings that the builder would have to look at and kind of imagine in his mind, if you will, or put together in his mind what how it went together. Now we have two drawings, one up in the upper left, how it looks when it's built, and then in the center we've exploded it out into a three-dimensional and you can see all of the 
components individually. They're all labeled as to what they are. And that's what we are now doing for our final engineering. And not sure whoever, uh, if anybody else is doing that right now or not, but uh, we are. And again, if you have any questions on that, uh, send them in and we'll talk about it a little bit later. We also have uh, an area where we have an in-house design experts. Um, we call this final selections, and there's a lot more choices here available. Uh, where we are inside of the kitchen, bath, uh, trim in areas. We have a person that does all drawings of all of the kitchens, the vanities, the bath components. Um, it gets involved in plumbing also, trim, doors, both interior and exterior. The uh, locks, stains, and much, much more. Um, we do this for both our log homes and our timber frame homes and our hardboard, our hybrid homes, I should say. We also offer LP smart board, uh, cement sidings, and even some conventional sidings in some of our more rustic wood homes. You see here an example of some of our timber frame homes that we, we do. We have customized builder training for your home. As I mentioned, we had some in today from Virginia. Uh, this is a one-on-one -on -one training. Uh, we will train for a do-it-yourselfer, somebody who wants to build the home themselves. We will train new builders. And we even bring in some of our existing uh, network of builders uh, when we do something new or, or in, in, in bringing something new to the market and kind of retrain and regroup a little bit with them. Um, we have a builder hotline that is uh, specific, uh, available six days a week, and we would be, again, talking specifically to your home, immediate support with your drawings and your details right in front of us. Um, you know, the builder training part of it, the customers do like to come along with this particular area. And in our customer service, both now and in the future, if you had any storm damage or fire or wind or something, say 20 years from now, you could call us and, and we would know which brand of window you had. We would know the exact size of window in a particular room, the roofing color, the manufacturer of it. Uh, we will help with warranty claims also. So uh, part of the whole package of what we do, not only uh, during the delivery and construction, but for years after, we still want to be involved in any, anything that uh, involves your home. We have a net, nationwide network of builders um, throughout the United States and into Canada. Our goal and part of our process is to introduce you to two or three experienced builders. Most of them are general contractors, full general contractors, licensed in your areas. And you would then choose which builder you would like to have build your home. Uh, sometimes the builders are local, and sometimes they do travel some bit of a distance. Uh, some of our uh, builders, we have one or two that uh, from the Midwest here, and they travel probably three or four states uh, every year. A uh, builder from Illinois building in, uh, is built in Colorado and uh, Georgia, Pennsylvania. Wisconsin, all over. He's just traveled. He's one of our best. He's in high demand, uh, but people love him, and uh, he does a great job. Quality is high, and uh, he's one of our faster contractors as well. Well, we're now at our last screen, and uh, again, just a reminder on some questions. The uh, motto that you see there uh, is uh, kind of true for us. It says, relax. We've thought of everything, and it's included. We're speaking there to our complete package, if you will. Um, and you look at the young gal there uh, giving a good old kiss to the logs. She has uh, just you know, been dreaming about logs, log homes for a long time. And uh, you know we love our logs. There's no doubt the people here do, and most of you do as well. But um, we don't usually go around kissing them. But this uh, young lady, this is the first delivery of their home, 
Uh, nothing's even put together yet. The foundation is there, and that's probably it. But she had to come out to the site because her dream is about to become reality, and she's just as happy as you can see there. You know, we've taken thousands of people through this process. Uh, we'd certainly like to guide you through the process as well. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please type them in now. Uh, I'm going to in case some of you guys need to get going or something, I'll read the uh, exit script here for you just so you know. But we, we want to thank all of you guys for attending tonight's webinar. Uh, if you have any questions, now's the time to send them in. You could also email us. You can go to the Golden Eagle website. You could go to info at goldeneaglehomes.com. Um, it'll put my name on it. I'll get to get the question if you have any. Uh, but when you leave today's webinar, you're going to have a one-page survey pop up in front of you, the presentation. So kind of rate the presentation, I think, on 1 to 10, put in some comments. We'd certainly love to get your feedback on the, tonight's presentation. And you'll get a follow-up email with us from us also. It'll take a couple of days where you could link uh, to a YouTube video of tonight's uh, webinar in case you want to look at it or send it on to somebody else. But uh, again, on behalf of Golden Eagle Log Homes and myself, I would uh, thank you for joining us. I also want to remind you that uh, next, there will be three more webinars scheduled on uh, Wednesday, all on Wednesday, January 18th. We're going to have a webinar on titled How to Spend More or Less. On February 8th, we're going to talk about interior and exterior design elements. And on March 15th, it's going to be a question and answer session on builders and log home construction. So that will be more uh, a little bit less formal. Um, you can find them on our website, and uh, you can also register for them there as well. So now we'll go back to the Q&A. And uh, I've got a question here from uh, Stephen Terry. And... Uh, says, we found a floor plan in a log home magazine that we like. Can Golden Eagle design a home from it and make modifications we would like? And the answer again, guys, is absolutely yes, we can do that. Uh, we cannot copy their drawing exactly because there's trademarks on uh, right, registration, if you will, uh, on specific drawings. But very likely we have a drawing or a, pro a home we've already built that's very similar to that one or close to it and we will make those modifications so it's a great great question guys and they're uh, uh, looking for a few more questions if you have there uh, someone asked if we uh, when I mentioned about the 50th anniversary if we had a discount program for that or an incentive and the answer again is yes if uh, we do have a 10% discount right now on our log home packages, um, the good as long as we have you into plan service and a contract by the end of February, February 28th. So if any of you guys are uh, considering it, it's a, a certain a building next year. It's certainly a great uh, opportunity to. Uh, save thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, that's something that we always, always see and hear. So um, again, there's handouts there available. Uh, the question here, those handouts are the typical process, which give you a list of the points that we would work with you together that we'll go through to get to home from a initial rough drawings all the way through to uh, final engineered drawings. There's a flyer on the kiln drying process. There's a flyer there on pine versus cedar. And then there's a little bit on our travel bucks program where we offer uh, a small, uh, to pay for some of your mileage and travel expenses to get here uh, when you're, when you're uh, ready to build with us. So um, somebody asked a question about the choices we have and how they can look at the material uh, that they want to choose for cabinetry and plumbing and all of that, that uh, area. And the answer is that we have a, a showroom here. We didn't go through it tonight, uh, but uh, we can give you photos of it, and there's probably some videos we have of it we could put in, you in touch with. Just email us again. But there's a 
7,000 square foot showroom where we have probably five or six kitchens on display. We have lug temp trusses, timber frame trusses on display, screen porches, railings, uh, all the stain colors we offer, several stain companies, a lot of color options in them, different products, shingles are on display, uh, I mentioned railings, lock sets, interior doors, exterior doors, it's a vast showroom. Uh, I've been able uh, to travel in my job here and into many other log home companies, not only their models, their corporate headquarters and their manufacturing. And I'll just tell you, bar none, our showroom, you will not see it anywhere else. If you come to visit us, the travel bucks would be applied to your, you, depending on how far you travel, you could get a thousand dollar credit put on your um, home package for visiting here and you will be amazed. I mean people just tell us over and over again, I never dreamt it would be this big, this much material to look at. It's just vastly over what I expected. So anyway, are there any other questions that we might answer for you this evening? I'll give you a couple of minutes uh, and as a sales guy I could probably talk for another hour but if you have any more uh, please uh, type them in and uh, if not we will uh, uh, take a break, make it a, make this uh, say good evening to all of you and see you hopefully at Golden Eagle here in the near future. I'll be around for a little bit but otherwise you guys have a, a great evening and thanks for coming. <laughs>